Hi guys, welcome back to Urban Rhino Tutorials. Today I want to show you guys how to use the transform tool in Adobe Photoshop. Um, the transform tool is useful to um, adjust a, a layer that's on top. So if you want to rotate it, if you want to resize it, if you want to stretch or skew it, um, the transform tool is what you want to use. So. Um, for this particular tutorial, I'm just going to place my logo on the photo um, and then show you how the, the um, transform tool is used. Normally, I have my tutorial or my logo um, is a brush that I've created, but for this, I'm going to show you how to place it. So you go to place embedded, um, find the logo on here, whichever one you know you're using. So I usually use my transparent white one. And by default, the transform tool is already selected. So when you place an image, this, this box is going to come up around the image, the logo, whatever it is that you place on top of your, your background layer. Um, so to resize it, one thing that's really important is you wanna make sure that you hold your shift key down while you resize something. So you can see by me doing that, um, let me size it to, to the size that I want, um, it doesn't squish it. So it's not getting too, um, like, too skinny or too fat, too tall, things like that. It's keeping the ratio locked as I hold the shift key down. I will say that I have found on a few computers and I don't know if it's a setting or what, um, but the caps lock key is actually what you have to push. So if you're trying to do the shift key and it's not working, you may try the caps lock key. Um, once you get it to the size you want, just hit enter. Now, let me show you, actually, let's do it this way. Let me make a duplicate layer. I'm just going to, um, Do this again, resize it, get it how I want, put it on here. Um, so if I, if I duplicate my layer, and move one of them, so you can see, I tell, I don't know what has happened, but since the last update, it's really hard sometimes to grab text or a logo. Um, so see, see, I'm trying to grab it there, and it's like it wants to pull out like a, um, a the 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 marquee tool. I don't know why it's doing that. So it's like you have to click on it a few times. Um, but if I wanted to resize one of these, so let's say I want to resize this bottom one, you make sure that um, that's the one that's selected that layer. If I hit Control T, that's going to bring up my transform tool, that, that box. Um, so I want to show you what happens if you do not hold the shift key down. So you can see when I resize it, it can stretch it, which we do not want. Um, so I got it back to normal there. Um, I'm going to show you a few more things here. So Control T again, let me resize it just a little bit to make it bigger. If you right click, inside of the box, um, there's some different things you can do. You can flip it horizontally, um, vertically, you can rotate it. Um, the nice thing about rotating it is you can just hover outside and rotate it this way. Um, you can skew it, so um, if you needed to pull one side so this is great for when you're doing composites. If you're trying to, let's say, um, there is a dress and you're trying to make it um, mold to a staircase or something, you can use this along with the liquify tool um, to help to help um, do that. So you can see there's that um, distort. So there's a lot of different things you can do. Let's try warp. I don't think we've done that one. So this one's nice because you can pull different sections of it. Like this. 
Um, obviously for the logo, we don't need to do this, but I just wanna show you how useful that transform tool is. Um, so the important thing is making sure that when you're resizing something that you always hold the shift key down to make sure that the size um, ratio stays the same. Um, and then, like I said, when the transform tool is selected, you can right click and you have all these options here. Um, so that's it for the transform tool. I hope to see you guys again in the Thanks next tutorial. Thanks for watching tutorial. this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.